Okay, Drunken Barrel House Blues, uh, Memphis mini tune, kind of deceptively simple. There's just three chords, G, C, and D. But as you might have noticed, there's a lot of movement within each chord. For instance, the first four bars are the intro. fretting my G chord with middle ring and pinky and my pinky's moving from the third string third fret to the second string third fret to the first string third fret and then that first fret on the on the first string uh, so it's important that you do fret your uh, your G chord with uh, middle ring and pinky. Um, you could also use your thumb if you wanted to. But uh, people who f use their middle, excuse me, their index middle and ring, it's going to be kind of difficult because you're going to have to shift into that G7 chord very quickly. Uh, so that was the first four bars of the intro. Uh, what I've laid out here is an intro and a typical verse. Uh, so, second four bars of that intro, we go to C. You might notice it is an alternating bass for the most part, but sometimes she would just stay on one string as the bass. Uh, so, like this, uh, measure five. She hangs out on that fifth string for the first three beats and then the fourth beat hits the fourth string and then in the next measure the bass alternates third measure of that line so then in these first two lines we're kind of going back and forth between sort of a monotonic bass and a alternating bass uh, in the third line, the, the ninth bar, I'm sorry, you notice the bass drops out on beats two and four there. It's kind of interesting. Then back in, a little walk in to the D chord. So if you look at that on the tab, I'm just fretting a normal D chord and sliding on that first string. If you just want to play the top two strings, that's fine as well. And then the final measure of that line. It's kind of a nice little descending line on the third string. Uh, I'm using my middle and index finger to play that. Middle finger's playing the third string. string. Sorry. Last line. So that's your intro for the verse. Same chord structure basically. You'll notice like the second bar into this measure, measure 18 on your tablature. The bass note will dip down to the fourth string on the second fret. Uh, you'll hear this in Mississippi John Hurt in a song like Spike Driver Blues, but um, it only does it once here, so. to the next line. Sorry. Hitting this uh, third string, third fret, and then sounding the second string against that. It's this weird kind of discordant sound. But the thing, it goes by so fast that you don't really notice it. 
So as you're going playing through this, don't let that throw you off. It's supposed to sound a little weird, but it does, if you play it up to speed, it doesn't sound real weird. So just be aware of that. Back to C7 here. into uh, the, the D chord again, 2nd, 3rd, 4th fret, open, back to G, a lot of descending going down there, start with the G, down to F, D, C sharp, C, B flat, right? Drunken Barrel House Blues.